where I come up the hill. I don't know if I ever mentioned it or not, but we're still 40 feet from the top of the hill where we're standing right here. So that gives you a better view. <laughs> we have to use the container as an eight foot height mark. And then there's a, you know, a ledge up there and then coming down. This is the ground that I'm standing on. Probably making you sick, sorry. Is he good lengthwise there? Yeah. Did, uh, enough room to open the rear gate and everything? Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. It's only a foot or so by that one. Okay. It's recording? Okay. I think. Yeah. Do that. It's mostly that lower kingpin. I mean, that's like ninety percent of. The All that play from there to there. That's your power steering cylinder input. Hit it hard. you think something you could buy? No, but we'll be able to fix up the nip, the edges of them. There's a spanner nut on there that's holding it on. There's a locking tab. And we've already released the taper part, so we're getting movement in the pin, so we're getting close. I can't tell if it's moving or not. Yeah, it's moving. 
Let's see the other side goes the This is that pin that's in there. You can see how it's tapered here, but then it's also threaded in at the end. So it had like a screwdriver kind of thing at the end. We can unscrew it and then get it out, but we're not, not having any luck. You know, we tried welding bolts to the end of it and air chisel. So now we're just trying to heat this section. It's clearly seized in here in the taper. That's where you know it moves on both ends. So we're heating this section of the knuckle now, hoping to get it freed up. Go ahead and tap it the rest of the way. Just watch yourself that it might come down. Okay, now it's, now it's alive and now it's something. Yeah. Can, you, can you spin it at all? Is there enough sticking out? Okay, there you go. Maybe it's shifted on us a little bit when we move the pin out. Okay. <laughs> That's all we're good. I don't know what's taking you so long over here, Gary. What's that? <laughs> I, said, I don't know what's taking you so long over here. <laughs> Is it recording? I think it is, right? Is there a countdown? Alright, Tony, I'm going to get on the other side of this. We're going to steady it. And I'm pulling this backwards. Uh -huh. Not yet. Not until somebody's on the other side. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to lean it forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, you got to be out, right? Yep, yeah, start we're coming out. down. Let the jack down? Yes. Keep going. Okay, we're only attached with a tie rod. Right. Yep. Go, Dad. Bring it to the floor. Okay. Now, you want to prop this up against one of those ears like that? Well, this thing's gonna come off the jack, so you guys gonna be the other side. All right. But now we gotta watch out. I'm gonna roll it towards you, so it'll come off on your side. We're gonna put it to the floor. Just help me do it slowly. Done. I mean, we hit myself in the knee with the jack pretty hard, but yeah, I call it a win. Kneecaps grow back. There's your spanner. That's dumb. <laughs> and here's uh, some bullshit. <laughs> I don't know where that came is from. Is that rubber? Yes, it is. Might have fell out that of this was, side. I think it was the top one there, yeah. And the other one's kind of mutilated, but it's still there. This is that, I guess. Yep. How the hell did you get it inside? That sucks. Can you get it straight? So what, what fell out? Something just, fell out just now. Shim. See how chewed up that surface in there is inside the bushing. Slow 
slowed way down. It's still moving, but very slowly. There it goes. Yep. Pull your thing backwards, it's kind of hard to tap it on. There you go. I should have not left that there. <laughs> Three or four threads on it. Wow. Okay, give me a. Are we close enough now? I can start tapping it with a punch and a hammer, the spanner. You want me to just draw it in with the nut? And just keep tapping it. Yeah, whenever it's snug, we'll leave it. It's got snap rings in place to stop it from moving. It's not like flexible makes it easy to take the brake drums off either. <laughs> that is a dumb design. We'll be careful there, Tony. It's barely on there. <laughs> Which way do I go? Tony? This way, Tony. This whole thing needs to get lifted up while it's held straight and then the jack needs to get pulled back so this is under the drum. The lifting it up part is the hard part. So I'm pulling the jack backwards a little bit as soon as you lift the thing. Yeah. Jack 
go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow. This thing is really unstable. Yeah. Let's slowly come in with this. Bring the jack towards us. There you go. There you go. Go up some more. Shit, 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 shit. What was that? Lost one of the shims, I think. Yeah, I got it. Okay, it's back. Right. Push it in. Alright, go up a little bit more. Alright, All right, come in. It could stand to come towards you a little bit. There you go. Alright, we're kinda high right now. Yeah. Ready, are you ready for the get the pin started at all or no? We're a little too high for that. Alright, let the jack down some. Yeah, slow and easy. Slow and easy. You moving? No. Not yet. But slow and easy. Yeah, I can hand it to you. Got the locking. Oh, oh too, too far, too far, too far. You're already in the other end. Can I get another clean rag? He doesn't have one. They're not in there yet. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. snap on screwdriver at. He's good. I also need a hammer and a punch. Oh, a hammer. The hammer's right behind Go forward. Okay. Um, go in all the way with it as far as you can. Give it a little tap. Yeah. Let the jack down. Okay. So you need a hammer. I might be close to where you can start your threads. You got quite a bit more to go. It's gonna okay. have to get tapped until it's close to the end. Hammer right there. Oh, you got no hammer. This eccentric knuckle pin is how you adjust the caster, the caster, the caster and the camber on there. Grease fittings put grease right in the middle of those, and that's why those old ones were so worn with the threads so badly. There was so much movement in play in there, no way to keep it set. So, these uns as you back one of these off because it's oblong, it, it moves it and adjusts it. Again, cast and camber are set by that. No, the caps, 
You want it up and down or anything? Or? Little rubber washers that we push in. And the easiest way to found them to do it is just to, before the caps go on, I can't just use tell you anything that'll help you, you know, <laughs> at this point. Push them around the threads and they'll pop into the place. Let me let's go in the What'd you call that thing you're putting in, Tyler? A seal? I call it a cap. A cap. Come down a little bit again. You want that chisel? Up a little bit. Oops, sorry. Get in, it's, it's bound to help me get this, get this shoved in here, too. Tyler, he might need to move that over there still to get his rubber in. You guys getting the first shower in the apartment. <laughs> But he's not complaining too much. He's a good boy. So we're setting the camber here, and in order to do that, as we turn these outside pieces, I'm gonna hold that up to me and show them how it's. So the middle one is not centered in there. So as we turn it, it rotates and either swings in or out with the outside arms there and then we get it set and we lock the middle in and then we can adjust the other ones back out to get the bolts to go through the hole so it can't ever move but now that it's set it won't we just gotta put the other bolts in we're good to go <laughs> okay we're setting the caster here we're gonna it wheels at 20 degrees here let's go ahead and turn it back to the left We'll check it with the tires on in a second, but it is the way the suspension, that's good right there. And we have a zero caster. Uh, the way we have it supported on a jack here that it acts like it's on the wheel, so it doesn't know it's not, but we'll do it again. Just We just had to set this up here and it's so much easier without, so we'll double check everything. That's some very crazy tire wear. Both tires. So there's an Allen key hole in the end of that. We had to remove the grease cap to do it, and that's what, how you can get that to spin to change the eccentric positioning on it. And when you do that, it's a, it's a lobe that goes up and down, so it moves it in and out as you go to get your caster and camber set. Okay, we're getting our caster and camber adjustments made here. So we're getting everything Getting everything set up and dialed in, level, straight. Uh, the caster angle, which is you know forwards, backwards, um, and then the camber in and out. So I might go this way, this way, and then uh, the caster one was you know this way or that way, and uh, then obviously toe in through the tires both going in and out. So we've got three different measurements that we're checking and setting here and getting as close as we can to the book settings. And luckily the book gives us really good specs for that. So we'll get it dialed in here as best we can, take it for a test drive and see how it does. Okay, getting ready to go for a test drive. That was a lot of suspension work. It took us three and a half days. It's gonna fire it up here.
out there so you don't take out my buzz. If you want to go back forward a little, that makes your life easier. Check to see how it feels. Feels nice. Okay, I took a Sudafed this morning. Make you sleepy or no? Just dry mouth? Thirsty, yeah. Remember, once we get up to speed on the road, do some little steering maneuvers to you know left and right, just to kind of see how it how it feels responsiveness wise. <laughs> you know, it's a steep angle when stuff's falling out, going down the hill. What's this bus weigh? You had it on the scales? 30,600. Yeah, that's, that's heavy for a 35 footer. They use a lot of steel in this construction compared to the GM. What's a GM weigh? Uh, most conversions, like a 35 foot, like a 4104, or um, 22 to 24. Mine got up to 26, but that's because I had 5,000 pounds of tools in it. <laughs> Is this the VL100 you used to have? Yeah. Or is that a friend's? That's the one the, the engine came out of. <laughs> then the one in the very front is what the bus looked like when I bought it. I don't want to show that picture. There's a phone number right by it. Now. Ready to go? <laughs> yep. Feel good? Yeah. Okay. Just get a little speed going. Not too fast, though. We don't want to... Not too much play, hardly. Oh, so that ate up some of the play, huh? Oh, yeah. A lot of it. <laughs> responsive like when you turn the wheel it goes yeah good
little faster, however you normally go, it's fine. I just didn't want you to push it too far before you got used to the steering on it. Right? Make sure it was handling good. Yes, very little bit of play. Seeing as how you've been driving it for years, it's probably gonna feel a little bit weird. So do you have one of your gauges out over there? Yeah, the fuel gauge. Okay. Oh, that's right, you told me that. doesn't feel like it's going to send you off one way or the other. No, it's, 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 it's very it's neutral. It's straight. Oh, yeah. Good. It's not pulling either way. 30 mile an hour speed limit. for sure. Well, you knew you had something funky in the front end, but I think it was going to be that complicated, right? Right. <laughs> Slap a couple of tie rod ends on and be on your way. those parts though since they said that in the book that that only lasts a hundred thousand miles that surprises me me too it just probably at a hundred thousand it'll start to get a little sloppy by the time you get to two hundred thousand then it's very sloppy <laughs> Turn left around the courthouse square there. You wear a seatbelt years there? No, I'm alright. Oh, I do wear a seatbelt, yeah. I added it. You know, there was no such thing as seatbelts in 1947. Mm -hmm. I think mean, this one either. No. Seatbelts weren't 69. They weren't around yet in vehicles like this. I had a bus that was in service until 83 fishbowl and it didn't even have a driver's seat belt in it. <laughs> hmm. We'll turn back right but you want to stay kind of far to the left. Makes the turn easier. Shoulder strap. <laughs> yeah, that way you can see it. That's the main thing. I think you're exempt in every state, though. Yeah, here's the idol. here because you can't see what's coming around the corner. Or can you? You're green.
suspension. I'm assuming you feel less bangs now too. Than no this, bangs. This little bump right here normally would have been a bang bang. Yeah. Because <laughs> your wheels were gonna fall off. up around here. St. Petrus Day. feel right up there real nice yeah we'll just take it easy up the hill Yeah. <laughs> Who lives in the tent? Nobody lives in the tent. That's just storage that when we were working down here on the pad. We had to store stuff that we didn't want to haul up and down the hill every day. It's supposed to go in the garbage real soon, we just haven't had time. Endless list of projects going on. highway speed on this thing? Uh, 80. Oh wow. I try to keep it under 75. Back in the garage or outside? Uh, I'll put it in the garage. So we didn't, we didn't have any jake brakes working right, or they were cutting off way too early, to like 2,000 RPM. So uh, the buffer switch was not adjusted properly, so we made an adjustment there, backed it off, tightened it up until we heard an RPM change, tightened it back down. We'll see if that solved our issue. I believe it should have. Getting a little close. Swing it. There you go. Now you can start cutting it. Depending on what your transmission does, like halfway down the hill, you might be able to kick your Jake on and let go of the regular brake and see. Well, if I leave it lower, it would do it. Okay, yeah, try that.
Jake a high low or just all one position? All one. Yeah, 90 pounds of oil pressure right away. Nice. or anything and then just yeah do you, is the jake switch on already yeah okay yeah just kind of let off and see what happens if it gets going too fast that ain't gonna do it is it Go pretty fast here and then let off and maybe it'll do it. Did that make a difference? Did you have to pull it? It didn't make a difference when I touched it, no. Okay. So go ahead and put it back into drive. Leave the Jake on and kind of drive down the, the road here and cut off a few times and see. I'm pretty sure it's. Oh, let me just go check my switch. Yeah, it's on. I think I'll just leave it on unless I get into a part where they don't want it. Yeah, it was almost, it was so high, it didn't even really come in very handy. Yeah. Because at that point, you're cooking. You don't want to get going that fast. It's actually going too fast to drop it here, too, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can just turn around down here in this little thing if you don't necessarily want to go back on the road. That's not. I like having a speedometer. Oh, yeah. in town now, I see the school zone. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Through the shift. Right through the shift, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I bet the cops like that too. <laughs> you may want to turn it off. <laughs> I don't think that's legal, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you slowed down for the school zone. Everybody knew you were slowing down. <laughs> yeah. You know those guys yet? No. I see all these buses coming through town there. Eventually, they'll get to know you. Yeah. The very first day I was in the town of Centerville, though, I met the 
the detective here. He came. I was at a restaurant, getting ready to meet our neighbors, and the guy walked up to me and he's like, "Hi, Scott." And he's the detective here in town. And he watches the YouTube channel and he just recognized me in the restaurant. Wow. I didn't tell anybody what town we were in or anything. Got a lot of viewers. I was wondering if this is too loud for this. You know, a long time ago they didn't used to like the noise, but anymore it's kind of acceptable. Yeah. With these motorcycles and stuff. It's just the sound of horsepower. Six hundred RPMs. Didn't change. Good. Green. turned on there. Yeah. <laughs> the steep grade. No sense tempting them guys, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the school zone now? Nope. We're actually right in the middle of it. Whatever that red car's at there, that's where the school comes out. Oh, okay. Although I didn't see no uh, no Jake Brake signs, did you? No, there is not any of those. So maybe they don't mind. Or they haven't gotten to it yet. You just got the double whammy though, because your engine's extra loud too. So, like you said, don't get on the radar if you don't have to be. But you can turn it back on now. Definitely switch your transmission for like you said. Yeah, that'll shift better. I, I, I felt a couple hard down shifts, and that'll really make it shift better. Smoother? Yes. Saves air pressure and brakes overheating and everything. Oh yeah. Oh, just the, the peace of mind going down a steep grade, having those 
knowing you're not having to use up those brakes that get hot and don't last very long. You know, coming down a mountain grade or something like yeah, that. Plus yeah, plus that's what gives them checks to uh, drums too, don't it? Yeah, for sure. Somebody coming in a gold car behind me. They're pulling in the property? Yep. Chevy. Have a turbo boost gauge on your gauges or no? No, I wish I did. Then it's transmission temperature. definitely have power because a lot of buses wouldn't have made it up the hill starting as slow with no momentum like you had there. Yeah. You just powered it and it just went up. person wants and then you can go ahead and put it in the garage. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. At the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done
up his tools Check the air and all those duels It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride In old Lenny the Silver Sides Get that bus grease monkey on the road Well, he's got that hammer down And that 47 hound It's that bus grease monkey on the road he travels all around and he's coming to your town Get that bus grease monkey down the road See that 4104 with the propped up engine door Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing Thirty years behind that barn Cause it don't run worth a darn Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing He knows in Detroit there's no doubt Upside down and inside out It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide In that old blue silver sides It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee Watch that bus grease monkey make his home Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife Watch that bus grease monkey get it done Well he travels town to town looking on them old greyhounds It's that bus grease monkey don't you know Saving buses far and wide in old Lenny the Silver Sides It's that bus grease monkey don't you know it's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?